everybody, how are you? We have another exciting project for you, yes. You think you've seen everything in art, ha! Huh? We haven't seen nothing yet. There's so many things in art that people have created and inspired us that there's no ending, okay? I have a new one for you. Oh, it's not a painting, it's not a sculpture, it's not a cutout. It's a mix of everything. Yeah, he's right here behind me. See? This guy that you see here, his name was Joseph Cornell. Now, Joseph Cornell was just Mr. Cornell. He was a very unusual artist. What he loved to do is to create little boxes and then he will fill up those boxes with things that he thought was interesting or found objects, things that he just found. He will look around, he will find it, and he will put an idea and he will put it together into a box, like those that you see in here. Look, so this one here, see, this is a box, okay? And he put things inside. See, there's a little screen, there's a little window, there's a little shelf in here. Now this one in here, look, he cut out a bird and he put it inside there and it looks like a bird and then he put a lot of newspaper around, okay? Hmm. A lot of newspaper around, a little string in there. See, this one has another cut out bird, see in here? And then there's a little bowl and he is split shelves. This one here has a big picture of the moon on the back. Okay, and then a little doll in there, some cut. This one here is another cutout. Okay, here is a cutout of a girl, and some split them in a lot of little boxes in there. And here's another one with the skies. So that's what he did. Okay, and I will put you some more for you here to see. But Mr. Cornell, he was one of the first American artists that was called a surrealist. Surrealist, you see the name here, Surrealist. So Surrealist was artists that they like things from their dream, things that they imagine, that oh I wish it was like that. So he was one of the first ones and he started putting that. He said, you know what? I'm gonna put my dreams inside a box. Why not? Why don't you do one out? So what you're going to need to find is find a box. Maybe you know a shoe box a, you know, paper box, like, you know, the ones that come with shirts, something, okay, a cereal box, I found a little tiny box, I'll show you on a table too, okay, so, are you ready to create your Cornell box? Oh, I wanted to see it, so, the thing is that, you're going to have to put it all together, and then, take a picture, and say, now, there's a lot of work on a box, okay, let's go to the table and see how we can do that, here we go!
So here is my art box. <laughs> I am pretty proud of it, you know. I kind of like it, right? My dog Chica's there. I am there, right? I have my little rubber duck. See, right in there. I got some Lego guys, and I just found this. I kind of like it. And this here is a powder of pigment. Pigment is what you make paint with. Okay, so it's a little powder, blue powder. So I kind of I like it. See, I have my little snake in there and my little beaver. I cut out some paper for the background. Okay, I painted everything white. You saw how I did that split. So if you want to make a shelf, make a split. Okay, that's one way to do it, right? And I painted outside. I didn't paint the back, see? So, but I painted outside to make a nice art box. So, art box. Yeah, right? Because it's not a sculpture. It's not a painting. It's not a picture. So it has everything. It has pictures. It has sculpture. It has painting. Oh, so I'm just going to call it an art box. So thank you, Mr. Cornell, for the idea, right? So you see how we're always getting inspiration for the great artists, right? So Mr. Cornell was a very famous American artist. So maybe if you go to the museum here, New York City, you can see, yes, you can see a lot of boxes by Mr. Cornell. There's many of them, okay? He created hundreds and hundreds. And he was born right close by us. He was born here in Nyack. Yes, Nyack, New York, right next door by the river. And then he grew up in the city, all right? So another very cool inspiration from an American artist for us. I am so looking forward to see your art box or your Cornell box, or I don't know how we're going to call it. You're going to have to put a name yourself. All right? Okay. I'll see you later, my dear Hillsiders. Bye-bye.